There is only really one thing to talk about here this weekend, and that is Jeffrey Hurlings, the possibility of him clinching his second world title. All the Dutchman has to do is ensure that his teammate, Jordi Tixier, doesn't outscore him. To make things a little more interesting, they've made some changes to the track, and Paul is up at the venerable Czech circuit to tell us a little more. Down on the start straight here at Lockett, and as you might be able to tell, it's been repositioned from the bottom end of the circuit right the way to the top end, just behind pit lane. Uh, the old start straight was about 120, 130 meters long, something like that, into an uphill left. This time, though, it's downhill. It's still pretty wide, made by the addition of where the riders rejoin the track at the end of the lap. But in terms of the start straight itself, down into this first corner, as you can see, just behind pit lane. The inside line is going to be the favoured side because there's a nice little flat ledge for the guys on that inside to get into. That'll set themselves up perfectly going into that second turn. In terms of when we come around to complete the lap, of course we run straight back down the start straight and uh, there's going to be an interesting braking zone. It's downhill. Might be some interesting passes going on there throughout the course of the weekend. Question is, new start straight, what's it going to bring? Hopefully it works out for the best for all our riders come Sunday.